Hi everyone, Mike from the Excel Trainer here. Have you ever set up a spreadsheet only to have someone that you shared it with overwrite your carefully crafted formulas and formatting? Stay tuned and I'll show you how to prevent it happening. Now accidents do happen and it's not always the fault of others. I have Excel files that only I use and I've still managed to overwrite formulas. The key to stopping it happening is to enable worksheet protection. Now, worksheet protection can be a little bit confusing, but hopefully by the end of this video, it'll be a little less confusing. In addition to covering the basics, I'll also answer a common question, how to protect data from being edited, but allow it to be sorted. Sounds straightforward, but it's not. And I'll come back to that later. Anyway, let's get started. By default, every cell in a worksheet is unprotected or unlocked, which means that its contents can be edited and deleted and formatting can be applied and changed. Now, I guess that's OK if it's a cell where you actually want people to type numbers in. But what if it's a cell with a formula like B9? Somebody could overwrite that formula with a fixed number. Turning on worksheet protection prevents that happening. Now, there's three or four ways that you can turn worksheet protection on and off. I'm going to use on the Home tab Format Protect Sheet. I'm not going to cover all those options at the moment, but when I click OK, every single cell in this sheet becomes locked. So I can't type into any cell, whether it's a cell with data in or a cell that is blank. It also greys out a lot of the buttons on the ribbon. And with sheet protection on, there's other things that you can't do. For example, you can't insert and delete rows and columns. You can't refresh pivot tables. You can't sort and filter list based data. And those are just a few of the things that you can't do. If you want to turn sheet protection off, go to Format Unprotect Sheet. Now, if you're worried about the fact that anybody could do that, you can set a password. I'll come back to that shortly. Back in the real world, it's more than likely that you want to enable protection, but have some cells editable. Take this loan calculator. It might be something that only I use, or it might be something that's used by several people in the company. The cells with the grey background contain data entered by the user. The other cells contain formulas. So how do I protect all the cells with the formulas in whilst allowing B3, B4 and B5 to be editable? Let me show you. The first step is to turn off cell locking on B3 to B5, and that has to be done before enabling worksheet protection. Now, why is cell locking set to on for B3 to B5? I didn't turn it on. Well, cell locking is set on every cell by default, but that doesn't mean that every cell is locked because cell locking only comes into play when sheet protection is set to on. So I need to select B3 to B5, click on the Home tab if I'm not already there, and go to Format. Near the bottom of the menu, there is a lock cell option and the padlock icon has a background and a border. What that means is that it's on, lock cell is on for the selected cells. But as I said, cell locking only comes into play when sheet protection is on. So if I click on lock cell, and then click back on the format menu and I've still got B3 to B5 selected, the background and the border from around that padlock icon has disappeared. And what that means is that for those three cells, lock cell is off. But as I said, unless sheet protection is on, turning off cell locking for those cells has no effect anyway. So I need to click on protect sheet. Now I did this before and didn't set a password. So I'll set a password now, just a simple password, but make it as long as you like, and then re-enter the password to confirm. As I said, setting a password prevents anyone who doesn't have the password from turning off sheet protection. 
Having said that, there's a fairly easy way to turn off sheet protection if you don't know the password, and I'll cover that in next week's video. OK, so with sheet protection on, I can't edit the cells with the formulas in. Let me go to B9 and type a number in there. And as soon as I start typing, I get this message coming up that tells me I'm trying to edit a cell on a protected sheet. But I can edit cells B3 to B5. So I could change the loan amount. I could change the interest rate and I could change the number of months. If I do need to turn off the protection because I need to make a change to a formula or some text or add something into a currently blank cell, then I go up to Format, Unprotect Sheet, type in the password and click OK. And I need to remember that when I've made my changes, I will need to turn the sheet protection back on, including re-entering the password. OK, so now we've got the basics covered. One of the questions that I get asked regularly is how do I protect data from being edited but allow it to be sorted? Let me show you. In this example, I need to make sure that the data in A2 to C14 can't be edited, but I need to be able to sort it. The first thing to do is to turn on the sort and filter drop downs. Now, of course, there's two or three ways to do that. I'm going to go to Sort and Filter on the Home tab and click on Filter. If I then turn Sheet Protection on and try clicking on the drop downs, nothing happens. They are disabled. The entire worksheet is disabled. So it's not just typing into cells that you can't do. It's also clicking on the drop downs. So I'll turn off the protection and then turn the protection back on. But this time I will tick sort. And what this does is it says when worksheet protection is on, don't disable sorting or allow sorting. Allow users of this worksheet to sort and click on OK. So now when I click the drop down arrow in column B, it should give me options for sorting and filtering, but it doesn't. Why not? I've just told it to allow sorting when sheet protection is on. Well, sorting doesn't just change the order of how the cells are viewed. It actually changes the values of the cells when they're sorted. And because I've got worksheet protection on, it's not allowing me to change the values of any cells. So let's turn worksheet protection off. And the key to this is to select A2 to C14 and turn off cell locking because that will allow the contents of the cells to be changed. So go to format and click on lock cell. And just to check, the grey background and the border has disappeared from the icon. Then I'll go back to format, protect sheet, and I need to not only make sure that sort is selected, but I also need to tick use auto filter. The other thing I need to do is to untick select unlocked cells, because if I leave that ticked, users will be able to select these cells in columns A, B and C and make changes to the data because they are unlocked. So if I take the tick out of that box, it will not allow people to select cells that have been unlocked and therefore they can't make changes to the data. Click on OK. So I'm trying to click now on the cells in columns A, B and C and nothing's happening because I've said when worksheet protection is on, don't allow users to select those cells. But if I click the drop down arrow, it now works. OK, so that brings us to the end of the video. And hopefully you feel a little less confused about how to lock and unlock cells. If you found this video useful, please give it a like and make sure that you subscribe for more. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please let me know in the comments below. I also have a free weekly newsletter packed with tips and tricks to help you become more productive in Excel. And you can sign up for that at theexceltrainer.co.uk. But until the next time, 
Have an excellent day.